Hi everybody, welcome back to the computer classes. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, Microsoft Word and this is an application in which you could type, print documents and uh, publish books and it helps you in uh, accomplishing the simple simple tasks like uh, any document printing. There are so many things you could uh, insert and uh, in this word and if you know all the things, uh, the relevant ways in which you could uh, make the, the document much much uh, more prettier, you will be you, you, you will be an expert in that. So try to study everything in depth. Welcome back to computer classes. Today we are going to discuss about MS Word. We will study about the definition of MS Word, fonts, paragraph, clipboard, insert menu, tables, illustrations, header and photo. What is the definition of MS Word? MS Word is a word processor application used for typing text, printing documents and publishing book, books with all relevant setups. And what are the different versions of MS Office? MS Office 2007, Office 2010, Office 2013, 16 and the latest version 19. But uh, for academic purposes still nowadays 2007 and 2010 is being widely used. Once again we look, we look into the definition of MS Word. MS Word is a word processor application used for typing text, printing documents and publishing book with all relevant setups. And we will have a quick recap of what we have studied in the younger classes. What is MS Word? Okay, MS Word, okay, I am going to copy something, we will see. Uh, open a new document, blank document, control V, I'm pasting it. I just want to uh, change, show you the changes in uh, the fonts. Look here, these are the fonts which you do have. You can t convert into any font. Look here, this is Arial Black, this is Copper Plate. Uh, 20 day later, um, Bosca Villa Old Face, Britannica Bold, um, Algerian, and even Malayalam fonts are available. Aerial Black, uh, Aerial Rounded, and um, all these are different fonts, and these fonts are having names. And uh, for the time being, I'm taking uh, Aerial rounded and I want to show you what are the um, size of it. Uh, usual case uh, 12 or uh, 13 size is enough and if you are, if you want to enlarge it to any size 28 or so these are the ways in which you could increase the size. I am putting a 22 over here for the time being and uh, I just I want to show you what are justifications or alignments now it is uh, left aligned if I am making central align what is the changes if I am making a right align what is the changes and if I am justifying what is the changes and now I am going to increase the uh, line spacing look here 1.5 2 etc the line spacing increases okay 2.5 or 3 any line spacing you can give, you can select. Got it? So now we studied about fonts, the fonts here, the size of the fonts, and uh, in paragraph, under paragraph, we have studied alignment left, center alignment, alignment right and justify the four things and if you're selecting both things and uh, 
selecting these and putting numbers giving numbers of four on a you want to give indents or numbers etc look here I am giving a bullet these are bullets in these shapes which you could insert on every uh, highlighted point is a bullet look these are bullets and if you don't want bullets you can make it numbers and there are different types of numbers you can give it Roman Roman numbers etc and you can uh, make uh, indents look giving extra space in the front is called indents and you can make it bold you can uh, italize you can underline and you can uh, strike through all these things could be which you have studied in the younger classes could be done and now coming back to the latest features or other insert menu etc you have to study home row home insert uh, designs etc you need to study these three menus are what you have to study this year home insert and design the later ones you will get it uh, studied in the higher classes or uh, when you are uh, going through uh, to the ninth standard etc but the basic ones I have explained now itself what are bullets what are numbers how you could uh, ch uh, uh, change the font etc which you have done uh, in the younger classes okay this is the stuff which you have seen now uh, and how other things are also being done also must be taught so we are moving to fonts uh, clipboard a clipboard is an area in memory which stores temporary data when a cut copy or paste feature is used it is a part of a random access memory random access memory is a memory which the computer uses whenever an application is opened or inside the application uh, it even allocates memory for the clipboard when the word file was being opened I have just kept the an, uh, clipboard here opened when you click here it gets opened and you can close it by clicking on this X button copy is under well such things could be done look here we are going back to the here there are a few shortcuts how to select text how to cut a text how to copy a text and how to paste it the shortcut keys are for selecting all the text is control plus A and uh, the selection how to cut it control plus X how to copy control plus C and how to paste that is control plus V you have to buy hard this uh, shortcut keys because it is very important to know how to use the clipboard effectively if you are able to know how to use the clipboard effectively because you could keep about 24 items in the clipboard and you can uh, uh, paste this 24 items in a, here now this is the first item this is the second item so likewise you could keep our uh, 24 items in the clipboard just click here you could paste or delete it the only thing that uh, you must know you must know what is being placed in each each clipboard if you are if you're moving over here if you want to paste here just press uh, press paste and that uh, that thing will appear here look uh, this is the manner in which you have to use the um, clipboard and we must know what is thesaurus the thesaurus is a feature in MS Word that allows 
the selected word to be replaced with it antonyms and synonyms look i am going to select the word laws here okay i selected the word laws the synonyms are here right click on the word or any word right click click on the word and right click you get the synonyms laws damage harm injury all those are the synonyms if you go to thesaurus you could get a menu appearing here that uh, it will gives you not only uh, look here you could pronounce it loss okay uh, if, if you want to uh, mm, uh, re, uh, see the antonyms gain profit etc is the antonym okay deficit debit deficiency shortfall Uh, we have uh, gain, profit, which are antonyms of loss, and um, we will see how the we are clearing all the data in that clipboard now. Now the clipboard is empty. I want to keep uh, uh, this thesaurus is under review proofing, and under uh, and that have to be now. I am selecting it with the mouse. And uh, how to select it? Just press from where you want and drag it. Otherwise, you could use the mouse and uh, 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 the keyboard also. Keep pressed the shift key and use the right arrow key. It will be selected. Okay, where you want. Only this much I need. And control plus. I am using control plus C. The first area is being selection. Thesaurus is under review proofing. That is being paste just a uh, one item in the clipboard. Then now I am using Control plus A. That means uh, all the text in the document is being selected, and Control plus C gives you uh, that uh, the full area in the, uh, in the this is being uh, placed in the clipboard. That means. The entire document is being placed in the uh, clipboard. And if I want to paste something here, just go here and uh, paste, or uh, uh, that item will come out there. Look, Thesaurus is under review proofing. Okay, uh, or if you want to paste this. The entire document came, and here now seven pages, one zero six nine words. Such things happen over there. And now moving back to the uh, PowerPoint presentation. A uh, clipboard is an area in memory which stores temporary data when a cut, copy, or paste feature is used. And whenever such a feature is used, the data is stored in a temporary area in the RAM. We have seen all this. And what are the commands for this? For selection of all the text in the document, press Control and plus A simultaneously. Always keep uh, keep down the uh, Control key and press A. And uh, how to cut it or copy? Copy. No uh, no changes appears when Control C is being done. Only thing is that the selected text will be placed inside the clipboard and now go to the area where you want to paste the doc, uh, paste what which are, which all things which you have uh, placed in the clipboard uh, paste the stuff over there and now we are moving to the next area what are fonts we have studied about fonts uppercase and lowercase are uh, that we need to study size of a font italic underline and strike off i have shown you subscript and superscript and uh, what is a subscript and what is a superscript we will see uppercase and lowercase some persons have the habit of uh, keeping uh, the caps lock that means all the text which you type appears in capital letters uh, in the computer terminology when if you are keeping the cap locks on and ta start typing it is just like screaming it is being considered just like screaming out 
if you do have an emergency if you do have a difficulty and when you are screaming out only you will keep all uh, the caps lock and start typing always uh, understand this when you are messaging uh, from the through the phone or when you are uh, uh, giving a uh, communicating with another, others if you keep the caps lock on and t start typing what does it mean it means that you are screaming for help you are screaming out something emergency something uh, difficulty you have then only you will keep uh, such a, uh, a caps lock on subscript and superscript text highlight color and font colors okay we are going to see the font color and then how to highlight a text and uh, uh, the upper cases and lower cases a usual case uh, the small letters are called lower cases and uh, all caps is known as upper case the first letter or in all the sentences will be in upper case okay the size of the fonts etc we have studied and subscript and superscript we are moving to the uh, word document now once again we'll see uh, here we are and copy is under home clipboard thesaurus is under review proofing i just want to give a highlighted color look here which color you need yellow it is just like using a marker uh, no, not a marker pen highlighter on your textbook or something okay i'm using this and if we uh, here i am click uh, i am going to change the color of this font i'm going to make it green look what happened okay and here uh, i want to uh, make it strike through uh, here i am clicking it and strike through look it will be done with the same color okay more about thesaurus at a lowes word let us suggest another way to say what do you mean okay here laws we have found the thesaurus menu kept open and it uh, the thesaurus menu gives you two things that is uh, the word you could uh, uh, replace it with its uh, antonyms or synonyms we will find uh, in the places here I am going to find the synonyms: seats, chairs, spaces, sitting room, homes, residence, and dwelling and rooms. I am going to uh, other places. I am going to make it with rooms. The rooms came over there, and this command: synonyms. Okay, knowledge, facility, expertise, understanding, appreciation, and so on. Okay, others. You could uh, go for thesaurus and find the antonyms also. Thesaurus. What are the antonyms? Go down. Control. Obey. Other rooms you can find this obey. Instruct. Change. Demand. Replace. Demand. Okay. Look here. If you if you have any dif uh, difficulty in uh, knowing the uh, thesaurus, how it is spelled? Thesaurus. Thesaurus. Okay, good. And this is the manner in which you have to uh, improve your English skills and. Uh, whenever you, if you are creating a document you will be able to uh, find out words which have uh, having similar meanings and if you don't see that any of the uh, any of the word is not suiting up to that uh, 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 content or inten uh, intentions which you have in that uh, paragraph you could replace that word with the synonyms or antonyms okay so this is the feature which you do have and uh, then we have to uh, know about uh, upper cases and lower cases if you want to change the uh, this into upper case <coughs> all caps just do that that is the increasing spaces here the uh, the upper case 
look here all of a sudden if you want to change it into lower case here you have the option to change it into lower lower case these are these are the options which you do have where it is uppercase and lower case uppercase lower case sentence case capital each word look select the select the uh, area you do capitalize each word look at a loss all these options are available here toggle case toggle case look here what is toggle case we are going to do it here toggle case and again if i am toggling case what happens got it here all the four sentence case sen We now need to uh, know about uh, the upper cases and no sorry the subscript and superscript. Uh, in the document, we are going to see what is a subscript. The for example, x square. If you want to write it, how you will write it? Uh, go to uh, just write x x and two, x and two. Now it is. Mm, x and 2 it will appear here just like this select the 2 and then put you'll get x square and the cursor moves upstairs up square put a space uh, x square plus y square you want to make an equation in mathematics and how will you do that remove it x square plus um, space y capital y to equal to uh, c square how to how to make it just this okay this is how that equation is made and the explanation is given in the math uh, in the mathematics uh, terminology the subscripts x square means x raised uh, 2 raised to 32 if it for example uh, 2 raised to 32 means 2 multiplied consistently by 2 again and again 32 times for example uh, we do have processors with 32 bit speeds and a uh, 64 bit speed and what is the 32 bit speed in that the processor is capable of handling uh, 32 bits of da uh, data at or per second that means 2 into 2 into 2 multiplied up to 32 times a 64 bit processor will be able to handle uh, uh, 2 into 2 into 2 and so on up to 64 times per second that is very huge uh, number and nowadays the process uh, the latest processes are able to handle very high amount of data per second and uh, this is uh, what how to write a superscript and a subscript in your uh, in your document and now we are coming back uh, font color we have studied text highlighting color subscript and superscript size everything this is covered and uh, numbering bullets indents shading giving shades to the text we will see that how to shade the text uh, I am putting this taking this selecting this with the help of a mouse and uh, I want to give shades to this text after uh, give, uh, getting it uh, copper plate and uh, I'm increasing the size to 18 line spacing and giving it to uh, 3 and now I'm going to shade this give shades to this outline shade or whatever it may be you have got uh, on, uh, color shades uh, any more effects weights uh, you can do it with the uh, uh, outer colors etc this is what it is
okay this is shading and we are uh, 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 borders line spacing line spacing everything we have studied now we are moving to to insert menu and the insert menu you have here in uh, PowerPoint as well as we have the insert menu here in uh, word here pages are there tables illustrations apps media links comments headers and photo text and samples all these are, are coming under uh, insert menu in MS Word and uh, we will see how how these things are being done in uh, MS Word and uh, here I just want to insert a insert a page break I'm going to start a new page how will it happens? Yes, it happens. Look here directly, it went to another page. Okay, cover page. I want to insert. Insert a cover page. Uh, just a, doc, a cover page came over there. When the cover page is come, it comes in the first, the, on the, as the first page. Okay, uh, and uh, here I am going to insert in the third page. I am going to insert a table be careful while doing the uh, look here now we have the menus home insert design page layout reference mailing review and view whenever you click on uh, a page uh, to insert a table I am going to insert a, and, uh, these are all columns this is one column two column three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm just inserting a ten mm. now we have another two lay uh, tabs over here appearing a layout tab and a design tab which appear and when the cursor is inside the uh, table you have these two uh, if and the, when the cursor is outside there is no uh, you won't get that uh, <coughs> Le uh, look these two uh, tools won't appear table tools won't appear when the cursor is outside the table and tables are having two things the one is a row and the other one is a column we have inserted a table with a one row and uh, 10 columns and uh, I want to uh, uh, now design and layout are there in the layout stuff we could see that the merge cells are there split cells are there insert above insert below insert left uh, whether you are you are going to insert a column on the left insert right uh, delete delete cells delete columns delete rows then delete table the ended a table could be deleted view grid lines properties draw table all those uh, height you can auto fit uh, distribute rows oh, so many options are there in uh, uh, table tools these table tools of design and layout are available only when the cursor stands inside the table a table is having rows and columns the horizontal group of cells form rows and a vertical group of cells form columns you, you have to study this in uh, ms excel also what are rows and columns and to move uh, the cursor from one uh, cell to the next cell you use the tab key that means tab on the left hand side of the keyboard you could see the tab key when you press the tab key it starts moving from one cell to another and you can uh, insert whatever stuff you want even pictures could be inserted so that it will uh, it will try to fix up in that box itself that the miniature pictures etc could be easily easily uh, adapt to it when you when it is stands in the last uh, cell if you press tab once again another row will appear look another row appears and if you if if it stands here if you press the tab once again another row appears 
and you can uh, merge cells you can split cells you can make a uh, uh, lot of manipulations to the table with the help of uh, table tools so if you select two of this uh, first two uh, cells and if I want to merge cell just click it it is merged what is the change that appear if you want to split split cells use I'm going to split those cell into three look here that's uh, three are uh, three are uh, here now I'm merging again likewise here and you can do it in uh, many other ways also uh, uh, if you want if you want to merge it likewise you can merge it also merge cells 